more confident in the Bucks or the L.A. Rams right now? Right now, it's early, but give me the Rams as it stands first and foremost. Once, uh, if all things are equal, and we know this about Vegas, they pick the team that has to travel across the coast, that's worth three and a half points. So okay. just all things being equal, yep. Tampa having to come all the way to mm. L.A., that already goes in L.A.'s favor. But let's not talk that jargon. Let's talk the real. Let's talk the real. Um, <laughs> right now, the... Rams have just as good a receiver as far as how he's playing in Cooper Cup yeah. than the Bucs have. Facts. Rams have a better receiver just as far as he's playing. Right now, Henderson's actually playing great ball from the running back position for the Rams. Like, surprisingly, if you will, but he's playing great ball. 4.2 yards a touch. Yeah. He's doing his thing. Defensively, Aaron Donald, give me him and give me Jalen Ramsey over any defender you can give me for the Bucs. I'll take Devin White Devin if I had to draft. But I'm drafting if, hey, like you always do me with basketball. Like you always do me in basketball. Mm. If we're drafting from both teams' defensive players, mm. Aaron Donald's probably taking first. Jalen Ramsey's probably taking second. Then Devin White's probably taking third. Or Ramsey, Donald, White. But either way, the Rams have two defenders I like before I like the Bucks' best defender. And Devin White is a beast. So I'm not disrespecting him. But mm. the Rams have... Two Hall of Famers. Be like, you sit with two Hall of Famers on your deep one yeah, and defensive yeah, yeah. line and one at quarterback. Yeah. So, but you got something against White. Nah, he's he nice. He's nice. Nothing against this game. He's, he's the nicest. Okay. I However, right. right now, early lead favors the Rams. Matthew Stafford's in his bag, had his highest passer rating of his career in week one. Week two, he also had a 107 passer rating. On the season, he has the third highest passer rating. Stafford's playing as good as he's ever played. Cooper Cup's playing as good as he's ever played. Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald. I like the Rams. Oh, you do? Uh, you like the Rams because you got a bunch of individuals' eyes and then try to collect a team when there's no eye in team. But, oh, that's a good way of looking at it. I'm just going to take the champs. The champs are here, and the champs are better this year. I'm going with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's pretty simple. I don't even have to individually parse them and say, this guy is better than this guy. They are better than the Rams right now. Now, you wanted to tell me that you like the Rams and wanted to highlight their running game. And Henderson, even though when he's healthy. The same running game that's 25th in the NFL right now. Okay. That's going to beat the Bucs that you can't run against. You can't run against these Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And you know what? You can't outscore them either. Listen to this statistic. Okay, let me give you the top three teams all time with consecutive games of 30 points or more. You ready for this? New England Patriots, 2007. Duh, they had Randy Moss and Tom Brady. Eight games in a row. 2010, 2011, Patriots again, Tom Brady. Duh. And you know what the number one team is? Nine straight games and counting. Right now, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. NFL record, nine straight games and counting. 30 points or more. Hey, man. I don't know where you're going to get this from because the Rams, even on third down, they can't get off the field. Jalen Ramsey, a beast. You know I love that. Darren Donald, come on, man. He top 10 all time already for me. 26 in defense on third down. Oh, it's going to be interesting when you got Tom Brady who cooks on third down. Now going to go against the defense that can't get off the field on third down. Respect to you, but the champs have gotten better and the champs are here. They have, but let's also state this fact, which y'all may not know. Hmm. Um, in the last 12 games that the Bucs have played, the Rams are the only team the Bucs have not beat. Yeah, but 13, you go back when they lost the week before, too. Bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, the last 12 no, no. games with Jared Goff. The Rams are the only oh, team that the Bucs have not beat. But let's not talk about golf. Let's talk about the defense. Y'all got the full screen. Because hmm. the last time the Bucs saw the Rams, Rams held Tom Brady to his second worst passer rating. They held him to his worst completion percentage, held him to his worst yards per attempt, and he had the second most interceptions he had in a game all season when he saw the Rams just last year. So the Rams know how to hold Tom Brady in check. Ooh. Nobody else could. Mm. But against the Rams, he was 25 for 48. where they do that at? I'm two you. touchdowns, two oh, picks. Ugh. Mm. Completion? Oh, my God. That was you, Tom Brady? Mm. Now, the next week, the Bucks go on to lose to the Chiefs, but they atone for that loss. Mm. This loss ain't been atoned for. The Rams, last time we checked, had the Bucks number. Barely, <laughs> but they so had true. the Bucks number. As I look at it again, I like the Rams in this one only because Stafford's playing as good as Brady. Doesn't have the crazy numbers, but Brady played against the Cowboys and the Falcons. Running games, just as good as the Bucs. Receiving game right now, just as good as the Bucs. Defensively, just as good, if not better. The Bucs have beat two non-playoff teams in the Cowboys and the Falcons. No playoff wins from last year. Mm. The Rams have beat 
to playoff teams in the Bears and the Colts. That should mean something to you, big dog. Yeah, it would. It would if it was after the bye week. But you know, after the bye week, that's when the Buccaneers said, let's go. Because they lost to the Rams, then they lost to the Chiefs, and then they had the bye week. And then Tom Brady went golfing with Bruce Arians and said, let's have a six-pack. Let's talk complimentary football. Let's talk about what we're going to do. They haven't lost since. <laughs> Let's talk about what we're going to do. They've been scoring 30 points or more ever since. Nah, last year, they were third in scoring. This year, they're leading the league in scoring. What the hell is going on right here? This team is on a historical pace. Tom Brady has nine touchdown passes right now. Only second to Patrick Mahomes the year when he had 10 touchdown passes in two games. Like, dog. I know the Rams' defense was number one last year. Not on pace this year to be number one, certainly because they lost their defensive coordinator more so than anything. But how are you going to slow down the Bucs? Nobody has slowed down the Bucs ever since that bye week. So I'm just looking at this in, in, in short, like, I love the Rams. I love the fact that you said this could be an NFC championship game preview. But at the same time, dog, if the champs have gotten better, then bruh. Y'all in trouble. I got something for you, though, Sal. I got something oh, you for got you. Something? Because, oh, yeah, 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 I got something me? for you. Oh. Because I'm, 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 I'm a little sick and tired. Of oh, being sick and tired? No. Oh. I'm sick and tired of your erroneous cause and effect argument. I've grown weary having to endure. You want beef? You're a, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Let's a go. little bit. Let's now, go. You know what I'm saying? Grass-fed, though, preferably. I got to figure. <laughs> I'm intermittent fasting um, up here. Let's I'm see. a little tired of your erroneous cause and effect argument. What do I mean? Uh-oh. You always say that it was the bye week it was the that bye. healed the Buccaneers. Uh, First, let me level this out for y'all. Let me level this out for y'all. Let me level this out for y'all. <clears throat> What's an erroneous cause and effect argument? You know, you have to study this nonsense when you're preparing for a GRE, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, erroneous cause and effect of, uh, argument. Suppose, so that your boy takes a multivitamin every day. Then one day... I, I do. You do. I do. Then one day you take a new multivitamin and all of a sudden you have spurts and spurts and bursts of energy. Uh -huh. You might say it was because of the new multivitamin. You don't think? When, in fact, it was because you actually slept for 10 hours the night before, you got a quality workout oh. in the night before, and you read before you went to sleep. It wasn't actually the multivitamin. Erroneous cause and effect argument would say... It's the new multivitamin that led to my energy. <laughs> Marcellus Wiley continues to lie to you all and say that it was the bye week that led to the Buccaneers' change of pace. Was it the bye week or was it the fact that after the bye week, they played the Minnesota Vikings? They played the Atlanta Falcons? Mm -hmm. They played the Detroit Lions? Mm -hmm. And they played the Atlanta Falcons again? Oh, and man. before the bye week, they played the Kansas City Chiefs, the Rams, and the Saints in three of their last four games. Oh. Don't get it twisted, Sal. Oh, didn't get it twisted, Wally. It wasn't a bye week, erroneous, my dog. Man. That's an erroneous <laughs> cause and effect argument. Oh. It was the fact that after the bye week, oh, okay. they played no playoff teams. Okay. Before the oh, bye oh, week, really? they played three or four playoff oh, really? teams. Oh. They about to see a playoff team in the Rams, and the Rams gonna show you what's really good. Oh, so I rest my case. Not bad, not bad. I hear the gavel still echoing in the chambers. Um, you don't think it was the bye week? As the kids say, boy, bye. Let me tell you why. Because after those games, you want to mention Atlanta, Atlanta, Detroit. Uh, did they play uh, the Saints? Anybody? Did they play the Packers? Anybody? They played the Kansas City Chiefs and didn't even give them a touchdown. Can't even get a touchdown. Get out of here. Get your field goal kicker only. Have they won 10 straight games? Bruh, this ain't just about the bye week playing. Sorry, teams. When it ramped up, when they had to see Drew Brees, Hall of Famer, when they had to go out there and see Aaron Rodgers, mini goat. And then they had to see Patrick Mahomes, baby goat. Wop, wop, wop. What do you think they're going to do to Matthew Stafford? Only his third game. What a task to give Matthew Stafford. Only in your third game. Hey, you think you could beat the Super Bowl champions? Oh, by the way, they're actually better this year than they were last year. Good luck with that. Good luck, Matthew Stafford.